I'm Marlene Colvin, and I'm from the Port Townsend Trinity United Methodist Church, and we are here to feed the Habitat Caravan workers. Uh, we gave lunch today, and then we get, did also the breakfast. Breakfast, we gave them baked French toast, sausages, orange juice, a fruit plate, and then for lunch we had three different kinds of salad, one with fresh caught crab, and we had uh, rolls, cheeses, vegetables, and then homemade cookies. For the lunch, the women themselves each made the salads and bought the supplies, and then they uh, took it down to the church and we brought it out to Habitat. Breakfast was donated from the church funds. I've lived myself here for 66 years, came from Wisconsin when I was a young girl, and I worked with Habitat for the last three or four years, working the building the homes. I work through the church and with Habitat. I am the liaison between the church and Habitat. We meet usually once a month and discuss what is going to be done for the following month. Uh, we bring lunches on Saturday for them, and during the week we bring snacks to the workers. I've been going to the church since I moved here, like I said, 66 years ago. Uh, I was raised in the church, and I raised my children in the church. Um, nowadays, it's completely different from when my family was there. used to be a lot of youth. Now we have a more of an adult uh, congregation. Uh, about eight years ago, the church almost folded before Wendell Ankeny, our minister, came. He um, came and he built it up from 12 people to now we had, I would say, 100 there Sunday. So it's grown. I work mostly doing uh, the flowers every Sunday for the church. I worked in the kitchen, doing anything that needs to be done in the kitchen. And mainly that's about the only thing. I'm, I'm in charge of the women's groups, but mainly that's about all I have to do in the church. All of the churches, five churches that are involved, do thank the Habitat workers for coming and for all the work that they do. And we thank Habitat itself for providing houses for these people. There have been about 13 houses, I think, in town now that has been built by Habitat. And we're thankful to everyone who participates, the cooks and the people that do the work. And I'm Marlene Colvin from Trinity United Methodist Church saying thank you.